Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. With it being spring, I'm starting to get a lot of questions about squeegee techniques, um, especially with this new business series as far as being a new window cleaner and figuring out just little things about your squeegee that, you know, for us veterans seems so simple, but for the newbies is something that um, is difficult and kind of uh, aggravating sometimes. So today I'm going to go over just uh, some newbie tips about squeegees and then also show you some newbie techniques as far as do's and don'ts um, that are good to know when starting to use a squeegee for window cleaning. So first things first, when you get a squeegee, um, this is Mormon rubber, so usually you won't get this in a Ederay squeegee, but this is just an Ederay Ledge Easy handle with a 14 inch brass channel. So when you change your squeegee rubber with these Ederay channels, you have these brass clips here, right? One thing you wanna do when you put this new rubber in, and always know with rubbers, you can use both sides, okay? So once you use one side, you flip it and you use the other side. You don't just have to use one side. So you can always get at least a couple days out of these rubbers. Some of the new rubbers on the market, you can even get like a week to two weeks out of. But this is Edray rubber. This is my most uh, common rubber used overall. Great, great rubber for all weather, for cold or warm temperatures, but overall really good, really good rubber. So when I put this in the channel first, I always look at, once it's there, kind of in the middle, I see how much is left on each side. Okay, you see that there? And when I put the clips in, I leave that area coming out the side to protect the frames of the window. That's a very, very important thing. If you have it here, right with nothing over there you can actually scratch frames and actually leave more detailing i see some guys do this but i i don't suggest it overall so i suggest at least having that little bit of rubber outside of there and it's just the amount of rubber that's in there without clips right so first clip is pretty easy we just put that there get that to the area that it was at and we push that in I have a whole video on squeegee clips and how to put rubbers in on different channels. You can check that out. So then with this other one here, I bought the rubber like that. I let that end relax. I put that with the same gap there and then just push that in. Okay. So it's as simple as that, your rubber straight. You don't want your rubber wiggling a whole lot. If there's a little bit here and there, that's okay, because once you put it on the glass, it will lay flat on the glass. But now let me just show you overall some techniques as far as cleaning on the glass. One of the biggest things I would say is that I would get a 40 degree handle like this, or the Mowerman handle 2.0 accelerator. This is what I usually use. So people always ask me about this. You can put tape on the channel, or you can put no tape on the channel. It's just that these teeth aren't meant for this channel, but they work great overall. And it just gives you a lot of different angles. It allows you to swivel, and it allows you to have a bunch of different angle changes. So overall though, 40 degrees is the best angle to have when using a squeegee. So now let me show you some do's and don'ts on the actual glass. So I just have some simple solution here, just Dawn soap and water, very basic. Uh, to use when you're starting out as a newbie. Uh, in this, about three gallons, I got about a good five second pour in here, which is perfect. If you put your soap in, just mix your mop a little bit like that to get the soap worked in, and then just kind of put it through your mop like that, and you're good to go. It doesn't need to be crazy soaking, but we're in the sun, so you want it pretty wet overall, especially outside. So we'll be using this mostly. So first, Always use a step ladder, be safe if you can't reach the windows uh, by the ground. A really nice tool to have is this new Screen King. Overall, this makes taking out screens really easy from the outside. You just put it in like that, get that out there, push your finger on there, and boom, your screen's out. So a really nice tool to have on hand. So you can see these windows are a little bit dirty, but not too bad. So, the first rule when you put a new rubber in, soap up the window. And one of the things you need to do is actually get your rubber kind of um, worn in. When you first use a brand new squeegee rubber, some of them grab the glass. So if I went up like this, it's grabbing, see that? And then when I go over dry glass, it will dry, it will drag again, okay? So all that is, is that you just need to wear in the rubber a little bit. So an easy thing to do here, is just go like this on the window. 
for a couple times. Or if you really need to get the job done, straight pulls overall. If you need to just wear in the rubber at first, it's fine too. But I just sit here and I just do this to wear the rubber and you'll actually feel it go away. That's just how you just get the rubber going. So to start here, overall what I would start with if you're a newbie and using a squeegee is the two pull rule. So if you can do two straight pulls, then that's fine, right? So on this window, you can never do two pulls of the 14 all the way down doing the sides. But when we're looking at this right here, as far as two pulls down, I believe you can do two pulls on this window. So we do one. I don't know if we're gonna get it, and we can do two. So when you're new, this is a good rule to start with so that you're productive, but yet you're still doing a good job. When you do that, you're always gonna wanna take a towel, wipe the top, wipe your edges, and that's a window clean, especially with a good rubber. Now, if your rubber starts getting bad, that cannot look as good. But if you're having to do three pools this is where you want to learn fanning so on a window like this if i had a let me get my 12 inch so if i had a 12 inch on this window here i would be pulling down three times right and every time i'm just wiping the edge i'm not wiping the whole rubber if i wipe the whole rubber then it drags really bad so i'm keeping solution on there feathering at the top and pulling down but now i have three pulls to do before I finish off the window. This runs a lot of risk of leaving lines down the window, especially when you're newer. So what I suggest doing is if you find that you're doing that a lot, you wanna start learning how to fan. So when we're fanning, especially on windows like this, it's actually pretty easy in that you can let the rubber ride up on here a little bit and it'll still clean everything off. If you don't wanna worry about that, you can always just pre-detail or you just lightly do the edge around the window to get some of that water gone from the edge. So then, when you're a newbie, it might be easier for us to start here when you're doing your fanning. So you start here and you work your way down the glass as you come across the mountain. This is squeaking really bad. I could probably use some more soap, but that's okay. Let me get this a little more soapy. should help there we go so then we got a little bit more soap there this is about the perfect amount of soap you don't want it to be overly soapy applying soap straight to the glass is not a great idea surfactants and glass really isn't a good mix but we all use it pretty much so that's why i just use dawn so yeah good technique to start with you start here and you work your way down the window that extra soap is going to give us some good drag there and some good glide there overall so we go down the window and we just take down the mountain just like that okay and that's just with a smaller squeegee you could even if you want to get the motion down use a really small squeegee when you're new like this one and it's just to get the motion down but i'll tell you the only issue with using a squeegee like this is the possibility of leaving trails everywhere but this is not a good squeegee size, but to learn it, you just learn it like this, right? But you see, if you're back on the blinds, you see the lines. I think this rubber is bad. But to learn the motion, this isn't a bad idea. You just do the motion all the way down the window. And then as you get better and better, you start just going up in size as far as what squeegee you use all the way down the window. And really, some of the biggest things like I talked about is the angle. If you're here on the glass, it's not gonna feel good. If you're trying to do this, it's not gonna be good. As you can see, I'm not even getting all the water off the glass. But if I'm here, I'm getting it. And it's just about three inches. My grip is just relaxed. So I just squeegee, very, very smooth. Rubber's worn in, we're good to go. And that's it. And then always, always, always just detail everything. So I have these big towels for that. And then you got a towel and you want to detail with your finger, right? Because most likely your squeegee has picked up most of the water, but you don't want to bunch up a towel like this 
and go like this because then you can leave streaks on the side of the window, which we don't want to happen. Overall though, some other tips, it's not a good idea if you've done this window to start jamming this window like this. I wouldn't do that as a technique. Um, you can just get a lot of extra water around in the frame. And then, you know, before you squeegee, you gotta do this just to get the extra solution removed from the overall the frames there. But like I mentioned, if you can do two pulls as a newbie, like so, then I think that's fine. I think that's a really good place to start. Um, and then as you do more and more windows, you can get used to using the fanning method. What I do with areas like this down here, I wipe up my big towel here and then just use this big towel to clean out the bottom track here as well. One good thing to get used to doing is doing it all in one motion when you're fanning. So don't ever, I think one of the, like, kind of the worst techniques to do is especially on a window like this is to go side pulls like so. I, this, you can just leave so many lines coming across the glass. The chances are pretty high. You wanna angle it like that. But overall, I would just say this is not a good technique to get used to doing, especially on residential windows. So when fanning too, I wouldn't try to get fancy too quick. I would always try to, after we've started this, and then you're gonna start cutting in, coming up, and then just fanning down the window. You can see how much smoother this uh, squeegee has gotten. One last thing I would mention, two more things, is that when you get down here to the bottom, what a lot of people do, and a lot of newbies, and I encourage you to get away from it as soon as possible, is just finish the whole window with one motion. So after we cut in, we come down the window. What some people do is they don't know where to end. So they stop here and they go here and boom and close out. Now what you've possibly done is left a line here and left a cloud here, where if you were just to finish at the end, you're just leaving the same solution that's around on the rest of the glass and you're closing out without leaving anything of a cloud on the side. So when you get to the bottom, what I advise you to do is just slow down a little bit. If you're going fast on the glass, just on this last little kern, slow, and then boom. And then that will make you be able to close that out without having to do that extra action of taking the squeegee off the glass, doing this, and then closing out. So that's what I suggest there. And then once you start getting better and better, a really good size to use on windows this size is an 18. It's a pretty quick motion. I'll show you here. Just boom, 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 boom. Okay, and then you can start getting fancy after that and start getting yourself quicker by just doing the up down motion. I don't use 18s on houses a lot, but they can definitely make you go quicker, and it's definitely a good thing to learn. But you can get fancy with it, come all the way down, come across, grab it, come down and then your window's finished super, super quick. But overall, that is just some newbie do's and don'ts um, for squeegees. Um, so just remember, always have your rubber with that little bit out right there, that's important. Always kind of working your rubber to the glass to get it going. Uh, 40 degree handles best. Keep your hand about three inches out from the glass for a good angle. And then um, overall, try to get that fanny motion down. And as you get that fanny motion down, if you can just do two strokes, then we're getting those two strokes. Even with a, even with an 18, that's okay. I would always do it on this. But that's some of my uh, quick tips as far as squeegees, do's and don'ts. So I hope that helps and I hope y'all have a happy, happy spring. And uh, feel free to contact me for any of your window cleaning equipment through window cleaning resource. And uh, you can email me at stevo at windowcleaningresource.com. You can call me at 970-599-1437. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.